Let's make air fryer beef brisket with crack sauce, which is jail som, nuk jam, nam jim seafood. Today I'm using two pounds of beef brisket and I had a leftover cross rib. In a mixing bowl, season with minced lemongrass, chicken bouillon, garlic powder. If you don't like garlic, try using onion powder. Thin soy sauce and a must fish sauce for that seafood flavor, adding umami to this. Nuk mam, patis, nampa, nampla. Marinate well. I'm a huge fan of lemongrass. Hoa sing kai, grung. It's citrusy and lemony in flavors. Next, you want to cover this with saran wrap and refrigerate for 30 minutes. While that's marinating, let's make our pepper sauce. Add your desired amount of chili peppers to a processor or into a pestle or mortar if you have one. My mom used the pestle as a weapon. Just kidding. Next goes in your sugar, garlic, and fish sauce. Combine and adjust to your liking. Now, if you want to take this to another level, bring out that umaminess, add some magic dust, some MSG. Next, we're going to add some acidity with some limes. If you have no limes, no worries. Vinegar would be a great replacement. This lime sucks. No juice at all. Oh, there we go. Oops, just kidding. Trick me there. Wow, look at that. Next, blend in well, then you're going to pour it into a bowl. This sauce pairs so well with barbecue meats, proteins, and veggies. Next, remove your meat from the refrigerator. You're going to place it in an air fryer for 375 for 20 to 25 minutes for medium wear done. Cooking time may vary depending on the size of your air fryer. Give it a quick flip half through way cooking. Once complete, place it on a cutting board to let it rest for 10 minutes. Once it's done resting, go ahead and thinly slice this and dip it with your pepper sauce. Wow, look at that. This works so well with guests for beer food. I like to eat it with piping hot jasmine rice. It's like a beautiful struggle. The rice is hot, the pepper sauce is spicy, there's no winning, but it's so satisfying. So if you know, you know. The pepper sauce is garlicky, spicy, and savory. Paired up with the rice, it becomes so well balanced. The cross rib tastes like beef jerky. It's so juicy, and I can taste the lemongrass char on it. A meal like this is always so delicious and comforting, and definitely brings back childhood vibes. Alright guys, let me know if you give this a try. Kap jai, kamen, kap kun kap. This was simple, fast, and delicious. Follow for more.